Hello and welcome my friends with another banger at world. PSG is facing against PNG. That's going to be a, a disaster to say during the game and during the team fights. But hey, it's going to be the Brazilian last hope right before the region gets eaten up by uh, NA and Americans and so on and so on. And obviously PSG, kind of also their last shot. Their region is also going to merge into something else, but I guess it's the PCS that is absorbing everything else. Regardless of your perspective on these teams, it's going to be in banger because the bands are, well, Skarner got through, right? This is the big pick that people have been uh, like speculating in the last couple of days about like, what do you do if Skarner comes through? And uh, well, apparently the answer is Sejuani. I think it's also a good jungler, it's also a good tank jungler, right? Uh, I think one of the earlier people who was on the Skarna hype train, maybe Canyon back then knew more than we did. Uh, well, he got absolutely clapped by Peanut uh, <laughs> in this final where he was on the Skarna, right? So maybe Skarna, well, we'll have to see, we'll have to see how it works, right? Obviously in the playing stage, the quality and level of teams is, is good, it's good. I think this is one of the better playing stages that we have had in a long time, but... Um, yeah, it's still obviously not main stage, right? Regardless, we have Aurora and Sundraban. That's also something that, I mean, I was like kind of iffy on Aurora, right? It was disabled for uh, a long time due to like some bugs with, I think, her ultimate. And now at Worlds it's available. So we like didn't see it for a long time. So it's always difficult to evaluate champions like that, like that. Um, regardless, Skana first, Big Yon. High priority champion in my eyes and in many eyes is uh, coming in. Sejuani, great champion, one of the best junglers of all time. Just pick it up and work super well with Yon and well, you also pick it up with the uh, with the Jax. On the other side, Rumble. I didn't expect Rumble to come through at this world's like whatsoever because like, have you read the patch notes? That champion is like, he lost like half his damage. <laughs> Uh, it's crazy, it's crazy. Tristana mid pick, yeah, that's something that uh, it will always be around, right? Uh, it's just reasonably good. But what the hell is this? Like, so did they expect this Yon to go top lane or something? But even then, it's like this Rumble versus Yon on this current patch, is that good? And Tristana versus Yon, this is also not the greatest matchup. I mean, I think it's okay, but I've heard. Uh, Analysts, pros, and so on and so on, saying that it's not that great, and I mean we can see why. Uh, jo Yon just presses E and auto attacks you, and you are well, kind of in danger. And especially after a couple of levels and items, this Yon guy is just going to one shot you. Regardless, so PNG very strong top side, very uh, much synergistic, very skirmish heavy. They have some team fight abilities, right? Obviously, pros love to team fight with Jax. Uh, and yeah, on the other side, we have also like, wait, like we have something. I, I, I'm i not hot on the rumble whatsoever. What the hell is that guy doing here? The misfortune coming through here is doing okay, but it's just a sitting duck, it feels like, in comparison to the Tristana. Very immobile carries there. Uh, and like for supports, yeah, many bands have come through. Rel still available to pair up with the misfortune and the rumble old. And I mean, we have seen it. <laughs> we have sadly seen it. The uh, Rumble Skana synergy, right? You ult and then you ult and then you hold three people on top of the Rumble ult. Yeah, uh, as a T1 fan, uh, I know that that's uh, painful. Maybe they picked the Nami here uh, to put out the fire, right? So it's not uh, that uh, hot anymore. But yeah, Lush Nami also something that is on the rise. Like many pro bot laners have picked it up in uh, solo queue, tested it out. Um, and in general, in uh, solo queue, the win rate, I think, of both champions has gone up a significant uh, amount uh, from the recent patches. Um, so yeah, um, range bot lane, even though Lucian has like le less range than the Misfortune, right? The support is what determines how bot lane works, kinda. So PNG with a better bot lane, I think with a better mid lane. Jungle is like kinda iffy, right? I think Skana wins in the 1v1, but who the fuck cares about that one? And then top lane, I have no fucking idea, right? I think Rumble is just cooked right now. Uh, but it's still Rumble versus the melee champion, right? Even though the melee champion is uh, Jax, right? Yeah. 
Well, we'll have to see. Let's let's talk about it a bit more in game. Okay, okay, okay. So let's talk about champions and players and stuff like that a bit. So obviously PSG is absolutely fucking amazing and the huge favorite coming into the playing stage. PNG, not so much, right? Um, I personally think they are the weakest team, not by a lot. I think the team has like many things going for them. Uh, Wizard, uh, Wiser, however you pronounce it in top lane, is fucking solid. Uh, their jungler is fucking solid. The mid laner is fucking solid. Titan should be a known factor, right? That guy can uh, pop off, right? If you give him resources. And Kuri is a new addition to the team from uh, T1, and I think he's maybe their best player. He's really uh, like good with uh, linking up with his jungler, rotating around, which we won't see in this game, right? He plays fucking Nami. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's uh, certainly uh, like a big st uh, stone for this team. It doesn't help that on the other side, like, there's so much we can talk about PSG, like. I, I think uh, Yunja is the best jungler in the, the entire group, uh, playing stage. Uh, Maple, sure it's not uh, season 5, season 6 Maple anymore, but that guy, like, what he lost in his hands, like he has in his brain, um, uh, he's like uh, an absolute legend of the region and of everything. Uh, he's so good, he's so good. And uh, yeah, he was the cornerstone for this team. Uh, like to rely on if uh, things get uh, get hard, but uh, usually things don't get hard because they have fucking Betty and Woody, absolute insane bot lane. Betty, the highest uh, KDA worldwide out of non academy, non ya la 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 la. Um, Woody is like as a support in a like in a region on a team like PSG, like has the uh, most what is it MVPs and so on and so on. I'm just repeating what I said in like all my shorts, right? If I have uh, spammed your feet with my shorts, I'm sorry, but not sorry. Watch my videos, watch them, and like, subscribe, and whatever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just repeating it. Like this team is good. Their players are insane. Aja is probably the weakest of the bunch, but uh, that doesn't say too much, honestly. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll just have to see, right? They rock up with a with a comp from last patch, really. So uh, yeah, comfort, not showing anything, not showing what their read is on the current meta. Well, I guess you could say it's their read that hey, the meta didn't change that much, and uh, honestly, they're not too wrong in that assessment. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is what uh, I mentioned, right? The second set of grubs just force a reaction from pain. You can't leave it open, and yeah, that's one grubber. Now they're turning for the fight, get a good ult, force the flash, Yunjia here a bit CC chained but he's the scanner, uh, he gets the ult through but yeah I don't know, Betty a bit too scared there, not trying to open up at any point, I think uh, yeah, a big troll move here. Oh Woody here face checking, this time he doesn't proc the uh, uh, aftershock and obviously he dies very very fast. But also, the enemy team has more items, so for anyone saying, oh, look at this, you're wrong. Nope, 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 that is not how this would have looked like uh, five to ten minutes earlier. Let's talk about this uh, dragon setup here, because obviously PNG with the two dragon advantage, they want to uh, well, keep that advantage. But on the other side, there's the rumble, who is making his way downtown, walking fast, but not fast enough, man. It's like, look at him. His little Yodel fleets don't carry him fast enough, so he has to TP. Let's see, that's the ult onto the jungler. That's another ult coming around. Yunjia is looking low. Still pretty strong. Oh, they call it off, they call it off. They give it open. PSG being second at the objective, not being able to set up correctly. And they lose so much for this, right? They lose the dragon, they lose so much time. Uh, look at top lane, right? Now the wave is like bouncing back, but uh, there was a like wave uh, that ate the other wave, whatever. Uh, so they lost a good amount of CS there. Ajay had to like TP over, right? Uh, Infernal Soul, obviously pretty crazy. PSG, like they only have one tank with uh, Yunjia, really. Woody is the support, so he's trying his best, but that's kind of about it, right? They're going to get blown up to bits. If PNG actually like gets to lay their hands on them, 
Yeah, the 2000 gold lift from PSG matters fucking jack shit if you're down Infernal Soul and if your soul side lanes are losing. Gold is a fucking irrelevant stat. Like, it's... It's not real. Gold is not real. Items are real and champion power is real. Like, you could give Yumi 10,000 gold, she would still not win a 1v1 against Heimerdinger, right? Anyway, ults are being used here, but uh, yeah, not in the right angle and as such. They get absolutely fucking uh, smashed, right? They group up and, well, the idea is there, but Aje is not the strongest champion anymore. Sure, his ult is not what got nerfed, if I'm not mistaken, but, like, you need to press your ults, like, in synergy. Betty again holds ult for the next minion wave, I assume. Anyway, do we see anything here? Okay. Okay, Betty here. At least pressing the auto attack button. Maple way too fucking hyphy, man. This is why you're on control mage duty. Betty, now he just walks up. Now he ults. Okay, this is how you do. Yeah, it's just not enough. Infernal Soul for pain. I know one AD carry would have stolen that, by the way. Anyway, uh, yeah. It smells like a bit of a GG here. But yeah. It's like they just get caught by everything. They play so fucking poorly. Uh, yeah. It's, an, it's actually insane. They play so disrespectful at times. Like Maple and Yunjia are like main culprits. Coronation is poor. He has 27 hard steel stacks, maybe. You... Yeah. And that's Yon absolutely trolling it. Recalling in the face of the enemy and having his fucking shop open. Maybe it's not enough though. That's the first kill for PSG. But can they do something else? Betty here life stealing somewhat. And well, using his 10k movement speed to run away. Aje, not so lucky. That's going to be a 2 for 1 for the mid lane Yon. Betty again holds R for next game. Actually, he holds it for the next uh, like uh, PvE uh, experience, right? Either he ults minions or he ults fucking dragons, man. Would have loved to see him ult enemy champions, like maybe once this game. Yunja here again, like ha la 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 la. Man, this is the guy I had as the like second best player in Playance, and he's just fucking 0-4 running it. May man, his mission is to make me look like a fucking donkey here. This is just crazy, man. It's so insane what he's doing. Like he's actively running it down. Maybe he's this is a moi, what's the, what was his name? Moan, Moan, Moan moment. They have no smite, but. I mean, Karyak also has no access yet. He still has flash Q, right? So that's that. Okay, let's see. Karyak getting lower. Betty ults and... Wow, he gets a kill by this. Oh my god, the Sejuani gets it with fucking 5 HP. And they all dash into the... Man, I was so ready for this play-in stage being actually fucking good, but it's... Like, this is some of the worst League of Legends I've seen in a long time. What are we fucking watching here? Bro, he has fucking Infernal Soul. Bro, this could have been like Yumi would have done the same amount of damage there, no? What the hell? But. Uh, <laughs> okay, happy for him. Uh, again, Titan was the one uh, on this team, right? If you want to be carried, that's the guy. Obviously, Kuri, I think, is, uh, is a very big impact for this team. And uh, we see the big damage and we see the kills for Lucian, but there's an 0012 uh, support with also 100% kill participation. I'm just saying. Like, I just don't fucking get it, right? PSG's engage is very honest, very linear. It's like, oh, I stand here and flash ult your face, right? That's that's how PSG like engages. Especially when they're backed into their own corner, right? There's not that much crazy stuff. So they could have absolutely split pushed them to death, but they choose not to. Anyway, engage instead of fighting Elder, or instead of like uh, smite fighting Elder. Makes sense, uh, especially Tristana's not even here. So yeah, game number one is going to be a massive upset. PNG is going to beat P. Oh my god, I knew this was going to like happen. PNG is going to beat PSG. 
the massive fucking storm 2 to 14 uh, sounds fucking insane and it, 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 it absolutely was insane sure uh, like due to good CSing and so on and so on uh, it wasn't like that much of a wash in terms of gold but uh, yeah I'm just absolutely eating my words right I'm like oh yeah drops are so much better than dragon because you you actually need to get the next dragons and so on and so on um, I'm like saying that this team is so fucking good and they play absolute dog shit. They can't coordinate fucking um, map movements. They can't coordinate and fight to like press R at the same moment. Um, dragons actually do end up mattering. It's like everything that I said is absolutely wrong. This was a game where the world was set out to make me look like a fucking idiot. Great. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's go into the next one. Hey, come on, PSG. You you can't you, you can't do this to me, right? You can't do this to me. You know how much I've sacrificed for you. Okay, uh, so PNG just surprised me, and I think many, unless you are obviously a Brazilian fan, which I mean there are some here. I I think if I look at my statistics, there are like some percent of Brazilian fans. Hey, was not familiar with your game. I do apologize. Um, but yeah, it kind of worked out as like expected. They have a really strong top side or really solid top side. They got really good champions there. They got a better champions there in some eyes, right? And then Titan, as their like hyper carry, got funneled, got all the kills. Not funneled, but like he picked up the kills. Really good for him. Good for the team. Then Kuris just. He injected him with Shimmer or something, right? He buffed him up insanely and uh, yeah, things worked out well. They picked up Infernal Soul and well, the game went from there. That's how a pain uh, victory looks like if uh, if you envision it, right? It's like, that's how it goes. Uh, what the hell? You're not picking up. Okay, so Scanner being picked up, yeah, makes sense. Syndra being banned, that's good for my pickems. What? So Yone, yeah, sure. Yone makes sense. Yone is fucking insane. That champion is really good. Obviously, in the uh, uh, first series, I should have paid attention. Was he banned? Uh, I think it would have been a good pick for Kati, if I, uh, if I remember. You see, really good Yone player. Um, and not a really good uh, Oriana player. I mean, his Oriana was okay, but it's just not his champion. He has not played it this summer and so on and so on. But enough of that. We have a fucking Akali B2. What the fuck is happening? What What is going on? Like, Yon, okay, Yon is the power pick, so you blind pick it and it can be flexed into mid and top lane. Sure, makes sense to pick this carry or this champion early, right? You can't flex it, right? And he's strong. Rumble? What, why are you picking that champion? It's like, what? He's like so nerfed. Like, I don't know on what patch they practiced, but... What? Do they just say it just doesn't matter? It's so crazy. It's so crazy, right? Uh, by the way, no Zix priority whatsoever. No Vibe... Oh, okay, Vibe has been picked, yeah. <laughs> no, like, Ori. No Ari. No Zix. No Smolder. Like, what the hell is going on here? Like, Maokai is still being banned. It's like, sure, like, he got nerfed. Not murdered. But, like, he got nerfed. He's still, like, pick banned. Okay. Aurora, yeah, this is something that's like, uh, maybe, maybe. We'll have to see, right? Um, but what the fuck is Akali doing here? It's like, what? What benefits did she get from the meta? Are you saying, oh, Storm Search, good for Assassin, good for Akali? Okay, sure. I don't know, man. I don't know. Nar also, like, fleet footwork knows, but he gets three base AD. Sure, that's kind of good, but is it good enough? Well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I guess it's going to be okay against the Rumble matchup, because what the fuck is Rumble doing? And obviously, we're just shooting into the dark, by the way, in terms of, like, AD carry and bot lane, uh, like, support bans here. They were just banning anything. Alistair is a good ban against Curry, uh, if I remember that research correctly. And obviously Titan just performed massively on Lucian, so that's that. On the other side, um, yeah, it's the same thing, right? You look at most plate and you look at like high win rates. These are like bot laners that PSG found success on, so that's that. Um, 
Yeah, MF would have been fucking disastrous. Jin looks good, Jin is a good champion, and his uh, items have not been nerfed, so that's that. Um, I just think PSG's draft again looks fucking horrendous. What the fuck is this? I'm just... Let's just see, let's just see. Bard! Bard is cool. Uh, right, obviously a range champion against this. Oh wait, actually he has not been locked in. It's so hard to see. Actually, it's like, uh, if you focus, you can see it. Okay, Braum here is decent. Actually, yeah, it's pretty fine. Bot lane matchup with Braum is good. Um, like, Braum versus Akali is like, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, Braum versus, like, melee champions that dive in. It's just, just great. That champion is just good. Braum is nice. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not the same as Se Sejuani, right? But Braum with melee champions just hey works well. Actually, like obviously Braum doesn't care, but you know what I mean. Anyway, let's uh, let's get into the game. Let's get into the game. I think PNG big draft uh, win. I think their comp is just so much better, even with the nerfed rumble. I think the utility, uh, not utility, like the utility from the Braum and then the like team fight potential you have. It's just this comp plays itself, whereas PSG's comp is. It's just, it's just wild. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, so we come into game number two and yeah, it continues to be really rough. I think PSG is absolutely getting smoked, uh, as I just said in the draft reaction part. Yeah, I have no idea. I, I have no idea. This is a draft where it says we are going to stomp you and if that doesn't work uh, right individually, right? And if that doesn't work, we are just going to like lose very, very fast, very, very hard. PNG has an insane comp to lock down individual targets, to play aggressive, to play... I mean, they can't even play somewhat defensive. It's not their primary mode, but they don't have to go Uga Buga Zack Zack, right? They can't play um, refined if you want to, but it's just crazy. And... From what the casters said, I, I hope you can hear the casters, by the way. I, I, I hope I did my audio thing correctly here. Hopefully they're not louder than I am, otherwise I'm just losing my mind. And uh, Yeah, let's not think about that one. Uh, yeah, these caster guys, they said that the PSG coach is copying the homework from the LCK. If this is what the LCK is doing, like we might just uh, lose in Swiss stage because these drafts are fucking dog shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just see. Let's just see. I mean, obviously, top range versus melee matchup, but uh, melee match champion is Rumble, so does that even count? It's honorable or not honorable because it's range, but he's the dishonorable uh, ranged uh, top laner, right? Uh, mid lane matchup, I have no fucking clue what's going on here. Like, why is Akali in my game? And then bot lane, I mean, it's just okay, it's just champions, right? Ay 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 man, ability set. This is how it feels like if you just destroyed someone in game number one. You pick Ezreal, you E in, you auto, and then you land the Q. That's just a mindset diff right here. Ay 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 ay. Let's just see, let's just see. I think PNG just this draft plays itself so easily. Like unless they get mechanically outplayed, which <laughs> that's not what we saw in game number one. Far from it. To pick these champions, right? Like you have to understand what that means, right? That means in their scrims. Either they got destroyed by these champions and think, oh, that's good, I need to pick that now myself. Or they were destroying people with these champions and picked them. Yep, nice force of the flash, chunk him out a bit. Good, good, good. And if you look at the wave state, right? Uh, the wave will bounce back, or, what is it, push back into Aja's uh, side. So if Aja like, wants to play it slow and uh, he should not push, he should just blast it, yep. He is playing the wave well. Um, sure with Vi coming over, but Aja is full HP and he's about to reach Mega Nar. I don't think there's anything like possible, right? Wizard can push this out. I think, uh, nah, maybe, maybe the wave clear off this uh, guy is too much. And Aja doesn't want to risk it. 
could force it. Right, he is Nar, he is decently healthy. But fighting the Rumble and the Wave, we will have to see. Is he freezing it? But yeah, uh, yeah. Mid lane, it just doesn't matter. Akali gets away and so on and so on. Nothing happens and so on and so on. Uh, but yeah, did he freeze the wave before his turret or did he not? I see something red there, so I think, yeah, probably. I was at a ward. Yeah, the wave is frozen, so he managed to do it. Yeah, that is great. Arja playing the lane out very well, or the wave at least, which I guess that's how you define lane. Regardless, uh, this time we have no like swaps, no movements whatsoever for the grubs. Uh, I guess PNG is like, uh, oh, <laughs> last game we didn't get grubs. And we picked up the dragons and we got soul A. Let's repeat that. Okay, let's see, let's see. Maple here playing decently respectful, right? He's not looking for... Oh, actually, he wasn't pulled on. Maybe he missed it, but whatever. Like, he's not looking for anything on this guy. I mean, sure, he has uh, the uh, magic resistance from the null magic mantle, but... Yeah, a bit weird, a bit weird. It's such a good first item purchase, but oftentimes in lanes like this, you feel like just getting the early MR out of Mercs, the extra movement speed helps so much more. Yeah, okay, really there's the ult. There. But Aja has to be careful. And he is in vision for the Vi. Gets the ult in time. Wizard lifts again. Actually, okay. Finally. There's the W, and there's the. I don't know, Scarn abilities. Finally, something works out for PSG, but this was so gr like overforced, man. Like the fucking um, yeah, whatever. Rumble old X Y Z this and that. It worked out. It worked out. I'll just take that. I'll just take that. I'll just. I'll just take that. Very ahead of the clock, and while I wasn't as jazzed about Heartsteel in the previous game, when you have a lead, that item is incredibly powerful. Uh, no, that item still does nothing if you don't get fucking Heartsteel stacks. It's an item that you need to be in combat in, and if you're not in combat, you're not doing anything, and you play jungle, you're not in combat most of the time, unless it's fucking solo Uga Booga Q. Like, if you're ahead, you can't get stacks because the enemy team is running away from you if you arrive in their jungle. If you're behind, you can't get stacks because they kill you when you want to fight. It's stupid. It's just stupid. Bro, respect to the casters, man. They can't pronounce these names. I would never be able to do so, but I guess that's their job and I'm just doing it all for the YouTube algorithm. Man, YouTube is making so much bank every year with my videos. <laughs> so many thousands of views. And uh, they get everything. Because you guys, you get ads on my videos, even though I'm not uh, eligible for like, what is it, like partnership or something. You still get ads on my videos. It's so crazy. It's so fucking crazy. But yeah, uh, respect for Maple. I, I didn't think this matchup would be like that good. But uh, not only does he force out a hex tranker buy, right? As like soul AP, which I think maybe the young player here again with the unpronounceable name is uh, maybe a bit being too respectful, right? But again, what do I know? I I, I just have no read on this matchup whatsoever. I thought Akali would uh, not do that well, but uh, Akali can be quite uh, nasty if you're a melee champion, right? Because you're always in Q range and then Q auto attack and you're boom. Not having that much fun, and especially like once uh, Hextech Alternator comes in, right? That's just a very nasty short trait that she can do to you again and again and again. Anyway, we have swapped around, right? Let's see the fight for the six grubbers. Let's see, can PSG this time not lose their mind? So this time, okay. Let's see. Let's see. That's. Maple here doing something. Didn't use ult, right? So that's one grub already given over. PSG here, Yunja channeling it, going in, getting the charge. There's the next ult. That's a three man ult, but no follow up whatsoever, right? There is no damage dealer here on screen. Betty is a fucking early game. Uh, what's his name? Jin. Woody is in the thing of, thick of things. RJ as well. Betty is getting attacked by Titan. Tian. But Maple arrived, it just took him an hour, but he arrived. Q3 
Oh, E doesn't hit. I, uh... It's so fucking silly, man. It's like these engages, they go in f literally like an hour before the teammates arrive with the damage. Like, what are Yunja and Woody doing? It's like, what the hell? Like, sure, like this time it worked out, but we saw game number one where it just doesn't work out, right? Look at this. Look at the map. Maple is in mid lane. Look at this. Look where he is. Aja is now TPing. They're already dead. Like, already people have died. It's fucking insane. Now Maple arrived. Ajay, I mean... Right? He doesn't have Mega, he doesn't have anything. Right? I think he TPs with Mega or something. Because that's why his Mega on our bar is like zero. But, I mean, this was, again, so in. E like, it doesn't matter who's in the wrong, right? It doesn't matter. It's just bad. It's just not okay. Right? Why is it? Because, hey, either you say Maple needs to be with the team earlier, or you say Yunja shouldn't engage, Yunja Woody shouldn't engage if Aje has not TP'd. If Maple is like three screens away, it doesn't matter like who you blame, it's just overall the situation is just shit. Right? And I would say the one who engages without their team is always the one to blame. Right? Sure. As a, like, if you're the Yunger guy, if you're the Woody guy, you look at the map, you look at, hey, my teammates, they need to be here, right? They're at the Void Grubs, why the fuck are you in mid lane? Why the fuck are you there? Um, reasonable. Nice solo kill, by the way. Oh, flashes, and the minion wave arrives just in time. Average luck of a top laner. Overall, 3,000-ish gold lead for PSG. A very comfortable game for them to play, right? They were in uh, in a gold lead at this point in the last game as well, right? Due to better farming, due to plates and so on and so on. But, uh, yeah. They were also down to Drakes, but this time, hey, Cloudso comes up. Hey, 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 you know what that means. Okay, PNG, you stop taking the dragons. And uh, PSG, you get four Cloud Souls, please. Yeah, this time, look, Aja is there, so this time they have damage. Uh, Wizard, smart, gets the wave, uh, gets the ult onto the wave, uh, so that will potentially stall out the turret uh, destruction of the bot lane. But obviously they kind of got cooked there. Um, Betty, does he spot him? Nope. Yeah, good, good, good for BSG. PNG kind of, yeah, too deep with the hand in the cookie jar. Ah, uh, man. Finally, like this for the first time for today feels like we are getting a bit of a game. Uh, obviously, this is because PSG did illegal stuff and they got rewarded for it. What the fuck did I just witness? What the, what the hell did I just saw? Like I need, I think we need to like hit pause right now and like the Vi player needs to check his R key. What the hell was that? Okay, Kuri here get, gets caught. Well, that happens if you play Braum. Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. It happens. Oh, TP from Aje? What the hell? It's Dragon up or something? No, it just TPs in for fun. Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's just not ask questions. We're not asking questions. Hey, hey, yay, hey, yay, hey, yay, hey, yay, hey, yay. Hey. Seven three. So I hope for game number three that we get uh, just legal gameplay from both sides and we actually like get get gameplay, get stuff. No lane swaps. No stupid shit. No draft uh, gif, no draft canyons, no something like that. And interesting. I think Maple tried to stand in front of him, uh, but uh, yeah, just didn't really work out. And okay, so that means no ult for both mid laners, and that's an ult. That's the jungler. Nice combo by Aje. Woody here looking for the engage. Kinda works, kinda not. Curry on the side getting smoked. And uh, yeah, PSG, they use the bear, uh, the dragon as the bait, and they uh, yeah, they pick up some mad kills here. Let's see, let's see. Maple, does he have something? Nope, not really. Uh, are they taking care of the dragon? Yeah, okay, he is. Uh, it will take a moment, which is a bit uh, bad. I mean, they can they take mid lane turret? I guess they can. Hmm. 
Yeah, I guess it works out. I guess it worked out. Because I was thinking, like, if they helped with the Skarna taking the uh, dragon, they could also have looked at the Herald at the same time, right? They could have done one objective faster, then immediately, uh, like, pivoted into the other. Um, sure, they are a bit on a, like, tempo disadvantage in terms of, like, uh, gold unspent in the inventories right now. But, uh, so I think they could have pivoted into the mid, uh, into the Herald. But I guess picking up a mid lane turret is always great, so if you can take mid lane turret plus dragon, that's great. That's probably better than Herald plus uh, Dragon, but yeah, especially with less t turrets on the map, the Herald obviously is, uh, go, like, goes down in value to some extent, to some extent. Uh, I guess Maple is fucking huge, man. Nearly 10 CS per minute, right? That's insane as an Akali. And I mean, hey, two items, he is doing all the damage. Like, if you are caught by this guy, if, you, if he finds you, you are fucking dead. And also if he hits E, I guess. <laughs> Okay, another fight around the red buff area at 20-ish minutes. Let's see, is uh, PSG losing their minds again about a fucking red buff? Well, kinda yes, kinda no, because this time they are actually the team that is in the lead. And uh, yeah, the rumble all this time. Again, the coordination, a bit iffy, but uh, they just hit them with their wallets, right? They are 8,000 gold ahead here at this point. So they just press their buttons and it kinda works, but... I don't know. I mean, obviously, red buff, blue buff, uh, after the 20 minute mark, are actually relevant objectives, right? Um, they're like having your like five man red buff, five man blue buff. That stuff actually does matter, especially like red buff before a fight. Like, if you leave it, uh, like this is something that less people do, uh, which is kind of sad, right? You should leave red buff up and just take it if you anticipate a fight breaking out in a in a couple of moments, right? If, like one minute for Dragon, before Dragon or something like that, right? Um, yeah, Betty, yeah, should have uh, maybe had less drinks or something. Regardless, regardless, so, yeah, so fighting or like contesting red buffs, it's not terrible, but uh, I mean, PSG is just funneling into these corridors, and it's just so rough. Regardless, it worked out for them, so good for them, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's about it. PSG here tries to set up a 4-1 or 4-0-1, whatever you want to call it, or 1-0-4. And uh, yeah, yeah, the five grubs do do their work, right? Even with uh, these champions who don't have the highest turret taking power, it just works. And uh, yeah, now they should have rotated Maple over into mid lane earlier so that he gets the wave into tower and that Aja actually gets turret uh, time. Well, I guess he's Meganar, so wouldn't have really mattered anyway but uh yeah that would have been a bit more ideal but regardless yeah you know they move up the control ward layer and move up the layer of control yunjia again going forward getting the old getting the surprise and that is the rumble dead and there's just nothing really they can do about it there's just nothing really they can do about it ezra two items so he's pretty strong and uh their yon as Ayon really just needs uh, some fucking state support funds. Maybe the German government can uh, also like, sponsor him. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They love giving free money. So, yeah. Maybe he can get some free money from uh, my government. But, uh, yeah. Not in this game, I guess. He is far, far from any like relevant item breakpoints here. Uh, that's just how it is. The cookie has crumbled here, really. Uh, Aji here getting three man, but uh, he has everything, really. So uh, he's going to wait. Hits a three man W. His team comes around. Doesn't even have to. Like, he ults them away. Maple comes around, and he will do all the damage here. Absolutely disgusting. And that's going to be it. They're going to finish here, even without Baron. Uh, yeah, just really nicely done. You saw the hint of hesitation in the in the paint setup, right? Um, they knew this was kind of illegal. You, they knew how the rest of the team is coming, and uh, yeah, I mean the game was over regardless. So uh, the idea of hey, let's three man this Nar, one shot him before he gets Mega, it's fine, right? That's like kind of like how you can break some of these like uh, split push setups. Ah, yeah, yeah, Betty trusting that he doesn't need the barrier. Crazy. Maybe he just didn't pay attention. Regardless, regardless, the gold lead is 12,000 and I I just hope the game goes out a bit longer so that more cloud tracks are being slain so that my pick turn out to be correct. 
That's my mission for this game. Oh, there's the Skarner. And now it's Kuria that's caught. He has the shield. Maybe you can jump to someone. No! Oh my, that was mean. Oh, T10? I don't know what Yunja was cooking there. Like, sure you see the enemy jungler, but you don't have ult anymore. Oh, Maple gets CZ chained. It's still enough. It's still enough. Uh, yeah, Yunjia, I mean... I mean, again, we see why Skarner's a good champion, but... Yunjia, bro, you need to calm down. Like, you can't just flash on the enemy AD carry and just auto-attack him. Like, what? It's just wild. Anyway, so, gold lead is big, kill lead is big, and, yeah, they're going to pick up the dragon. That's not the dragon. The Baron here, and uh, hopefully they pick up the dragon as well, right? Help me with my Cloud Drake pick. Hello, hello. And uh, yeah, with that being the case, I mean, here again we see uh, yeah, how uh, how people have uh, improved their macro, right? This is very clean macro by PSG to some extent. Sure, the execution could need some uh, some filing, right? But um, overall, what you see uh, like in, in in concepts, right? Playing around like the rotations, moving up there, setting up vision pushing back and so on and so on um, that all is fine right it's like um, this is the result of a team that is uh, scrimming with uh, Chinese and Korean teams at times uh, a team where players have played in these regions right in Gia, uh Maple Betty they've all played in the uh, in the LPL if I'm not mistaken um, maybe even no Asia and Woody I don't think they have um, Right, they've played in the LPL, which obviously they are not the best macro team region, something, something anyway. But this type of macro, like winning games, that's where the LPL is good. Okay, we have a flash engage. Everyone presses R. They get Betty. They really don't want to have him uh, have a good KDA. And yeah, where, by the way, was this from, um, what's their name? PSG in game number one, right? Everyone press R. Just didn't happen. No. Hey, they tried actually their best. And this is... Why I said uh, <laughs> um, why I said that this PNG comp is fucking great, right? Like if they want someone that they press, everyone presses R and someone dies, and like to get two kills while being twelve thousand gold down, like hello, that is that is that shows how good this composition is. I hope. Anyway, PSG equalizes the series one to one. Will we? See the PSG victory in the end? We'll have to find out in game number three. Okay, we come here into the final game. Game number three, PSG, PNG. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not the PNG file, I, I think. Man, they showed up. They did some good work. Drafted really good comps. PSG still managed to 1-1 uh, the series. Ay, ay, ay. Let's just hope that PSG can, like, I don't know, fix their fucking game. Don't pick shit uh, champions. And, well, maybe... I don't know. Um, coordinate a bit better, right? Still, like this time they beat them with like a bit mechanics, a bit of gold that they got through the mechanics and better landing etc etc and then they won the fights like by brute forcing it. But in terms of coordination, in terms of setting it up right, that was far 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 from it. Which is not something that you expect from this team if you have watched a few of their games. <laughs> yeah, PNG on the other side, they locked in the champions but yeah, it went pretty unfortunate, right? If some of these early fights went in their favor, they would have steamrolled this game. So, uh, for the Brazilian fans, hey, your team is looking mighty fine. Team is looking mighty fine. Aye, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, so bans. Zig's hitting the bans. Okay, good. Respect, respect. Uh, Sundra is going through and is being first picked, so that helps somewhat with my pick ban stuff. Uh, hopefully, uh, I mean, it's like I picked Cassante as the most picked champion, but I just don't want it. And maybe I manifested it. Regardless, so Wukong comes in here pretty interesting. Akali Wukong is just like this is this shows that they probably scrimmed LPL teams, right? Um, but I guess Wukong was coming up here and there in uh, like some play around the world, I, I feel like, uh, even on the last patch, right? Also, having Wukong Akali is already like, oh yeah, sure, you picked Sundra. Actually, they get Sundra Ash. What the fuck? They get Sundra Ash on this patch? What the hell? 
They also paired up with Lee Sin, Lee Sin, Syndra. Regardless, like PNG again, their champions look fucking mighty fine. Like if I had to choose a draft, I'd pick that one in a heartbeat. Uh, while on the other side, PSG with the right execution, their comp is very oppressive. So if they get ahead, they steamroll the PNG side very easily. While on the other side, if PNG gets ahead, they steamroll them. It's it, both comps look at each other, and it's very very snowball game is uh, yeah on our hands. That does not mean that we're going to see a snowball game, right? Because if that's the case and teams are aware of that, that means there's the potential of them, well, how do you say it? Like, respecting and calming down, trying something uh, here, trying something there. Not playing for the fights, playing for objectives and so on and so on. Um, yeah, anyway, Braum comes in, Braum is a, a mega pick here. On the other side, Poppy ban is crazy because you want Poppy like to be on your side, no? Or I guess you just don't want to mess with Poppy as listen. I don't know. A uh, Bard ban, pretty good. Syndra, Ash, they always have to flash if the Bard ult like hovers over them. There's the Leona, so keeping a potential like flex for top lane situation still on hand. But uh, it just doesn't really matter because there's the Cassante probably coming up here. No, not Brom, Alice Cassante, right? You can even go for Rel if you want to, but I think uh, having the peel of the Alistair is just a bit more valuable here. Um, sure, you lose some of the engage potential, but you just don't need it. Blind? What the hell? Wizard, what are you thinking? Nar. I mean, obviously, Nar and Cassante are like. So, Nar, Renekton, Cassante are like the three champions that people love to blind pick. Um, uh, but yeah, this just means that there's like a lot of cooking potential because you could, if I remember, not sure if that's still the case, you could now flex the Akali into top lane. Uh, because I think the Akali and Nar matchup was good for the Akali, and now you could also like pick up a mid lane counter pick, uh, like another assassin. He just says I slapped your wife's asshole, man. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? My, my my English at some points is crazy. Anyway, so he just slaps it down. Range versus ranged matchup. I don't know if that's amazing, but I mean... Well, let's just see it. Let's just see it. Yeah, PSG again says... You know drafting, you know thinking, just fuck all of that. We are just going to hand stiff you and we're just going to smash you. Uh, which I hate it. I hate that. That line of play never works when you, like, even if you win in play and, and go to the bigger stage, you just get your ass handed to you by better players. If you're, like, not even trying to play macro, if you're not even wanting to, right? You could take these games, like, this feels like they, first of all, very disrespectful, right? Because we know, we like, this is not us believing in PSG and, like, PSG is not doing what we want them to do or what we think they could do. We saw it last year, we saw it at MSI, like we saw these things happening, right? We, we know that they can play like League of Legends, but what are they doing? They are like just coming in and like fucking around, right? It's like, they, they, this is like scrim games or something, that's how they treat this. It, at least it feels like to me. They just pick random champions, they try something out here and there, but they just, they're not taking it seriously, they're not like trying their best. They're not uh, picking the champions that are regarded meta by most people. Maybe they just know better. Hey, fair, right? Okay, so yeah, uh, PSG. Okay, so yeah, uh, missed to say it, but uh, PNG, all five people who are stacking up in the top side. Um, yeah, very interesting due to obviously the uh, yeah funny thing. Haha, <laughs> uh, there is uh, a vein in top lane, so let's just try to kill her at level one. Sadly for them, that doesn't work out, but hey, we'll see. PSG again, win lane, win game, and if that doesn't work, we just get fucking beaten like... Yeah. Anyone else? Oh, there's the mana flow stack. Let's go. First strike as well. So, uh, yeah. Sundra player, again, I'm, I am not going to try to pronounce that name. Uh, Sundra, yeah, looks good here. Uh, Sundra versus Akali, I mean... Like, sure, if the Akali player is good, Akali can play, but um, it's rough. Okay, Arja with the uh, bone plating. Interesting. Should expect the war to be somewhere in the in the lane. Now he knows it's uh, both awarded. Yep. Yeah, he knows both walls both awarded. 
which uh, that's huge. That's so huge for Nar. Like as like range top laners as a melee champion, you want to get these wards into the brushes. Uh, there's like a way you can ask your support or something to come uh, a top lane very early in the game, right before minions spawn, and help you place that ward. Um, because it's so it's so important, right? Sure, she can now just play towards the bot side, but uh, especially in solo queue where like hey maybe your jungler does this or that, um, you can do things, right? It just helps a bit, right? Because uh, Arjun uh, is like kind of forced to uh, like push the wave here as well, and also the wave auto pushes, right? If you hit the Nar and then the Nar minions, the blue minions aggro you, they're not aggroing your minions, and that means your wa the wave will automatically push to in the other side. Regardless, uh, bot lane gank. Betty gets attacked, gets the auto through, but with the uh, triumph feel, actually tight uh, Titan uh, lives. Let's try to pronounce his name at least correctly. Uh, yeah, this is all fine. But, uh, oh, actually, that's the longest E and Woody lands it up. Curry falls to flash. And, uh, yeah. But look at the wave state, it's a horror for PSG. Kuri can uh, just freeze this here. Yeah, nicely done by Kuri. And uh, nicely called, I guess, by um, Lee Sin. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is obviously uh, yeah, very greedy over forcing this. And here, it works out very nice. So yeah, that is a big issue now. I mean, both flashes have been used by PSG mid jungle. So maybe it's not that bad, but uh, Sundra in this matchup, or in this 2v2 situation here without Flash. The classic 5.30, 6 minutes, it's roughly around that time. Usually it's fi uh, 5.30 because of the, like, the wave, uh, yeah, whatever. Because waves spawn at the same times every game, so it's there's not too much fluctuation, right? It's usually the wave before the 5.30 wave, before the cannon wave comes. Um, because 5.30 is the cannon wave uh, that, or that hits in mid lane, right? That's where my timer is at. Um, obviously, it's a bit later in bot lane because the, obviously the waves need a bit more time for the side lane, even though they buffed, they changed that a bit. Um, and made the side lane minions uh, walk a bit faster. But uh, yeah. Regardless, uh, even with the fast rotation, uh, PSG just not capable of doing too much here with the wave being pushed into tower and overall uh, yeah, PNG having a bit more control throughout this area here and with mid lane push as well uh, but they're not too sad about this main gets uh, a wave into turret and uh, yeah gets a plate so that's that let's see let's see maybe they can set up a dive uh, wizard here wiser whatever you want to call him uh, yep have to see, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Maybe they can set up a dive. Ninja here. But there's Kuri. And Karyokok is also here. How the fuck did they know he was there? What? How the hell did they know he was there? What? How did they know? There is not a single ward anywhere near. Like what the fuck? How did they know he was there? He, like he shouldn't be there anymore. He should have recalled. Like even if he was in bot side, he should have already recalled and should have been on his way or in top side already. Like he should like PNG should never expect him to be there. That was very sus. Like this is like the the, the type of play where it's like if the enemy is playing properly, it's just there's just nothing. Like you're wasting time because Lee Sin camps weren't up uh, in bot side anyway. You should have, you shouldn't be bot side as Lee Sin. You should be top side as well, um, because of like camps being up, right? His Gromp and his Wolves have been up now for a while. Okay, so next dragon has spawned. It's my brother. It's the Cloud Drake. Yep, yep, yep. Take it down. Take it down. Yep, yep, yep. Very nice. A bit mad last game. PSG. I mean, maybe I need to write the Twitter guy that they need to take care of more Cloud Drakes. But uh, yeah, I mean. It is what it is. PSG kind of letting it uh, pass by, right? Just getting a bit more gold for the main uh, and trade off for the vein uh, and trade off for the for the drag. They sacrificed dragon and the first three grubs for uh, like CS, which uh, I like CS. I like gold, but if you look at it, actually, like their gold is not that high, uh, which is weird. 
which is very weird. They have a CS lead in top lane. Vayne also has played uh, at least one plate. Um, they have a CS lead in jungle. They have a CS lead in every lane. Uh, obviously, bot lane is down in gold, right? If you look at the 250, due to the situation with uh, the well, the first blood and so on and so on for the ash. But yeah, this is definitely not what you want to happen. This Vayne is, again, I was already a bit suspicious, right? Because like, Vayne versus Nar, sure it's winning, but it's not really winning hard unless the Vayne actually gets accelerated and that unless the Vayne gets stuff done, right? And now she's down in CS. Now she's 900 gold down. Like, that is very, very bad. Like, PSG with their fucking... Um, pick me Vayne, woo! I'm Zeus, I'm literally him. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're literally fucking Zeus's, uh, I don't know, um, bottle boy or whatever it's called. Let's see, at least say, come, can you get dragon? Oh wait, actually you have no top lane or maple, oh, maple. We, why, wiser was it? Has, uh, has everything. Betty is chunk, doesn't have ult. PSG's Yunja has no ult either. So uh, yeah, two dragons. And Hextexol, <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas playing this comp against Hextexol. Your asses are getting fucking zapped to pieces, man. I'm not saying there's never an, a time or space for these champions, but like, uh, you need to have a way to get them ahead. And you need to have good matchups for them, right? So the Akali matchup against Yon, I didn't know, but hey, it seems it was pretty good. Maybe it's just because the Yon player is not that great, right? No disrespect, but... You are not uh, Chovy, you're not Zekka, right? Um, so maybe maybe that's why the Akali uh, was able to get uh, so far ahead there, but like, hey? Like, Merry fucking Christmas, like trying to like get ahead in this game, right? Your top lane matchup, sure, you wins early levels, but once anyone comes around, Vayne is just cucked. Would he proc the Aftershock, please? Okay, old oh, Betty gets to auto attack. There comes the TP, Maple on the flank. Maybe he can find something, but the answer is probably not. Yunja in the middle of things. Aji gets the R, E, Maple gets CC'd, but at least he picks up one kill. On the extended fight, PSG may be able to win something. Okay, that looked fucking wild with the blast cone, but things worked out for PSG. And in the game, on the extended fight, they are able to outplay it. And uh, there's also like, sure, the PNG champions are not terrible early on, but there's also now the argument that you can make once we see the items. Please show the items, right? If you look at the items currently, um, like there's just more power on the uh, PSG side, right? And uh, yeah, many cooldowns have been used on uh, Maple. Maple dashed away, and then obviously Yun uh, Yunjia who uh, went in early, and uh, well, he got some things done. Especially getting cooldowns, right? Here they pick up a kill, they pick up a turret. A first blood turret as well, if I think I saw that one correctly. So first blood turret plus kill. That's PSG. Up ahead. Sure, look at this. This, uh, this is rough, right? But it's just three grubs. And they're going to just take this to half, I expect. But no one is coming. Actually, they're going to take it fully. Well, I guess it's a trade if you look at bot lane. Um, both teams just want to donate gold to each other. But let's see wave, let's see wave, let's see wave. Okay, it works out, it works out. Both get money, and now the question is who uses that money better? I think Maple might be actually be, I mean, he shouldn't have it, but he might actually have it. Oh my god, yes. Shadow Flame Storm Search. Oh my, Maple again. He's the hope of the PCS region, man. He has to do it. He has to do it. He is the one that's set up for this game to succeed. Sure, Betty is really strong right now as well. This two item, um, what is it? Uh, energized item combo. Uh, it's doing so much damage, man. Like, uh, if you're an AD carry, pro tip, buy fucking, like, play a champion or buy items that are called <coughs> Static Shift. That item just does unreasonable amounts of damage. It's absolutely insane. How much damage that item does and if you have a champion that can just proc it or even if, if you can't right it's just so it's just so good sure in some cases the game doesn't allow it right you have to go for the um what is it called again oh man the, cr the kraken slayer right um 
But yeah. Anyway, uh, any anything here for 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 what is it called? Oh my god. So first of all, what the hell? Titan gets immediately one shot. There's nothing they can do. And uh, yeah, we missed some parts of the fight because I was just too shocked that they didn't uh, do anything earlier. And yeah, I mean, it's crazy. They're pinging Baron. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Baron, they get two kills on the AD carry on the top laner. Syndra has TP, so reset into uh, item into to TP. They don't have that much damage there in terms of Baron damage, but they have a vein, so that's that. Woody trying to bloody block. He is decently strong in doing so. Expense the flash, and that's it. That's it. That's it. PSG. I'm, I don't want to say clean because what the fuck was that dragon setup? But like, hey, win fight. Take Baron. Jin is just really fun, right? Uh, with all the items in the game currently, besides I guess Kanek Rookeron and Static Shift being dog shit, um, actually like Shadow, not Shadow Flame. Shadow Flame is actually Shadow Flame, Storm Surge. These are good items. They you want to buy them. Mortal Reminder is a good item right now. Um, Static Shift I think is really good. So champions that can buy these items and benefit from them, I think they 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 win, or like they obviously have advantages. And champions that uh, do well against such champions, obviously. Let's see, Aja here looking for a flank. The typical flanking vein is the deadliest. Now he goes in. Right, bro, you have to play on the fight. You can't play on the smite. Oh my, oh my, Woody Low. Just play for the dragon. Somehow he dies. Aja gets combo to fucking death, man. Absolutely ridiculous. But Maple has it in the back. We have to believe. Boom, pop. Yeah. Let's go! Maple performs very well done. Very well done. Uh, I just, I just hate my life. By the way, <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is this level of play? I, I played attention to Ashe. I just don't want to look at it again. So I'm holding my hand in front of the Baron pit. So Woody goes in, tanks shit. Junja goes in, tanks shit. And uh, how, how does the rest happen? So. Betty gets, oh my god, he gets some really nice damage off, makes them soften some up a bit, and then Maple is able to get some last hits here. Now we can actually uh, watch again. Aye, aye, aye. Very nicely done. This, like, I'm, I'm going to test it out immediately after I've finished editing these videos for the next five hours. I, I really need to get an editor, but I just, with fucking five, five viewers, I can't afford an editor. Oh my god. Oh my god, whatever. Uh, yeah, this uh, this uh, Akali build, I really want to test it out. It looks so fun. Because even if they're behind, they can at least do something like that, right? Uh, in pro play, at least, if you maneuver them correctly. Um, oh, Maple W. Zonias. W, 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 W. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, Maple got hardcore cursed there by the casters, it feels like. Or by me, whatever. But yeah, that's what Aja is uh, like supposed to do, right? If you, um, yeah, whatever. If you give him enough time, why is he going back? Like you can't fight Soul without Maple. Okay, they just try it. Okay, they just try it. Well, I guess better than nothing. Let's just see. Aja flashes over the wall, tries to knock Tian into it, but just doesn't work. Somehow he gets over the wall again. Does he? Did he get kicked or something? Anyway, Aja, hey, put the viewers away. Can't see. The jungler has died. Tien is over there, and the soul has been smote. And yeah, they win the fight 4v5. Absolutely insane. PNG kind of losing their minds, trying to like brute force the soul. But PSG not only are the other head and gold, but yeah, that fight was absolutely fucking wild, man. Winning that 4v5 was crazy. Wukong? This is this is my fucking jungle goat from. <laughs> oh my god! I'm I was forced to eat so much shit after after today. Matt somehow uh, beat uh, what is it? Uh, Vikings. Vikings look like dog shit. PSG look looking absolutely horrible here. Uh, PNG playing better than expected, but I mean these games were so hard to play for PSG because they draft absolutely horrible dog shit. 
that is so reliant on, hey, let's outplay and, uh, well, they didn't look too great. Anyway, PSG still wins. That's uh, what I'll take. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed yourself <laughs> with me rambling on uh, to, these, uh, to these games here. And uh, yeah, if you did, make sure to uh, leave a like and subscribe, right? More words content coming right you avenue. Till then, my friends. Bye-bye.